We're trying to encourage other governments to give Germany a little push in order to step up their game in terms of trans rights. And right now is actually the best time to do it because we're hoping that there might be a chance, a real chance for new gender recognition legislation. Um, but we're also afraid that it's not going to be happening if our government doesn't get a little push. And that is actually like exactly what the UPR is good for. We are very ambitious, but but we hope that to, first of all to to see that the recommendation we have made will be taken into account. For me, the like as advocacy work in the UN it also helps uh, to the work on the ground because we do achieve kind of the. Um, tools that we can use in our work back in the country. I really hope to give a more uh, in-depth understanding of the situation of LGBT people in Colombia that despite all the progresses there are still several challenges uh, and also to get like all this uh, uh, information regarding strategies for advocacy uh, to my country, to my organization, to other people and that could be useful also also there, not only in international scenarios. Wonderful. It was a priceless experience for me. Azerbaijan as a state never received uh, recommendations uh, related to SOGI. It's somehow a historical moment for LGBT community in Azerbaijan. It was amazing to be here and learn, uh, get experience and be part of this uh, advocacy work and try to make better for LGBT community in Azerbaijan. Intense. <laughs> like really really intense. I've been talking to, to quite some people who um, who didn't know about trans issues in the beginning or did hardly know anything about trans issues and who afterwards gave the impression that they had learned something. Actually I just had my UPR info pre-session yesterday and that was actually heartwarming. Afterwards the German delegation came up to me and told me how moved they felt by my statement. And I would have never believed that that would have been possible. Uh, the work of yoga helped me so much and it impacted my own activism that now I feel more confident in my own skills. And I feel that now I have strategy how to fight for the rights of community I want to fight. Their impact is priceless, what they have done for us or for me that um, they made uh, for us this uh, advocacy work become possible. And I think uh, this uh, process should be continued for uh, to have follow advocates that they are not able to uh, make this their by own. I think uh, to use as much as possible the opportunities uh, of the uh, UN mechanisms, like uh, recommendations and build a strategy, not just to come here and to receive recommendations, but to work further on back on the countries, because it's also uh, the huge work on national level that we uh, do, for example, building the strategies on implementation of this recommendation. I think that it would be good to work with other organizations because actually we did that. We were working on, with other human rights organizations in Colombia, not not focused on the LGBT issues, focusing on other issue, other human rights issues. But when we came here, uh, we came to work and advocate specifically on what has to do with LGBT people. So I think uh, you have to be really strategic on when to work with uh, and how to work with other human rights organizations that are not only focusing on LGBT issues, when and when to give that uh, attention uh, to that specific issue and not just uh, letting it to be another topic uh, within so many other topics.
Il faut se préparer, il faut se cultiver, il faut beaucoup lire et il faut connaître même la situation de son pays parce qu'il faut parler avec des... On, on, on ne vient pas ici, ce n'est pas les rapports qu'on vient présenter, on présente la situation réelle du pays. Donc on a besoin que les gens soient bien informés de leur contexte et voilà, imprégnés de leur propre réalité. C'est important d'envoyer des personnes qui sont véritablement sérieuses, engagées à la cause. Ce n'est pas une, une, une balade de plaisir, ce n'est pas de la, de la villégiature. C'est véritablement, c'est du travail. Nous avons passé une semaine intense à travailler, travailler, travailler. Donc euh, c'est le conseil que je, je pourrais donner aux autres défenseurs qui veulent s'engager dans ce processus qui est véritablement long. Et voilà. Be prepared, but don't be scared. It seems so hard and daunting, but in the end you will be your best self and you will learn so much and we all just people trying to do our best. Yeah.